dear learners today we are going to discuss the short run and long run costs of production cost of production depends on the level of production so if the level of production is low the cost of production is going to be higher if the level of production increases cost of production is going to be lower but beyond a certain point cost of production starts increasing so when production increases cost of production also increases and the theory of cost deals with the cost output relationship and production depends on the quantity of inputs used say labor and capital these are the two major inputs which are to be studied over here so theory of production is the theory of cost and what is the basic theory it is very important to note that which law of production applies basically there are three laws of production increasing returns law of increasing returns law of constant returns law of diminishing returns and it is studied this these laws are to be studied with reference to the two time spans and that is short run conditions and long run conditions so basically what happens is that initially the increasing returns start happening then the constant returns start happening for a very short period of time and beyond that the diminishing returns apply and that remains the case for a longer period of time but then there again time span is very important whether it is a short run time span or it is it is a long run time span if the production function supposing is given to us q is equal to f and within brackets k and l k stands for capital and l stands for labor that means capital uh, the factor of uh, production is a factor of capital and labor quantity of production is a factor of capital and labor this is what this equation means but in the short run what happens that capital does not vary capital remains constant but labor is increased or decreased so labor becomes the variable factor in the long run capital also becomes variable but in the short run capital is not varied whatever is plant whatever is machinery whatever is equipment that is not going to be changed it's only the labor which varies and the labor varying amounts of labor give rise to three situations that is increasing returns constant returns and diminishing returns under the long run both k and l become variable means capital and labor both become variable so the theory of cost has also been classified as theory of long run cost and theory of short run cost please do remember that in the short run no additional capital is going to be enthused since additional capital is not going to be introduced it simply means that the same amount of capital is going to apply it's only the variation of labor labor is the only factor which is variable then it is referred to with reference to the time periods and in these time periods some costs remain fixed and some costs are variable so in the short run total cost comprises of fixed cost plus variable cost that means we have one component of fixed cost and another component of variable cost add up these two and you get the total cost or in other words if we uh, put it even uh, total terms say very fixed also and variable also we add up word total to it so it becomes total cost is equal to tfc plus tvc that means total fixed cost plus total variable cost is equal to total cost and what is this tfc total fixed cost cost of plant building equipment as i said a little earlier this is not going to be changed so this is fixed cost 
it is fixed for a certain level of output. But when the level of output increases, then this fixed cost will also change. It will convert into another level, another stage. And TVC is particularly the cost of labor. That is total variable cost represents labor only. Because K is constant, capital is constant, additional capital is not going to be introduced into the business. So labor is the only factor which is variable. So total variable cost represents the cost of labor which varies with the level of output. Now if you look at the basic cost functions which derive out of this fundamental relationship is that the total cost is given for a particular output Q and the AC, AFC and AVC can be calculated because total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost or in other words average cost is equal to total cost divided by the quantity that is the number of units or if we can expand this equation then we can say TFC upon Q plus TVC upon Q or AFC again in, in that case also TFC upon Q is equal to average fixed cost similarly same function same style is being used for everything that is total fixed cost divided by the number of units produced will give us the average fixed cost this is one way of calculating fixed cost average total cost means total cost divided by quantity or you add up the two that is total variable cost total fixed cost divided by the quantity so average variable cost uh, will be divided into two components average fixed cost and average, av average variable cost and average fixed cost will make the total cost average cost is equal to average fixed cost plus average variable cost now what we find here is how cost changes with changes in output usually it is believed that cost of production increases with increase in production actually what matters is the rate of change in output which is subject to the laws of returns to variable inputs and what is a variable input variable input in this case is labor when capital is constant and units of labor are varied returns increase remain constant and diminish these three stages happen there exists inverse relationship between the rate of output and cost of production say when output increases at increasing rate cost of production increases at decreasing rate and when output increases at diminishing rate cost of production increases at increasing rate see very simple statements these are when output will increase at diminishing rate that means cost of production will increase at increasing rate because output is increasing yes of course but at what rate diminishing rate that is how it happens now it can be illustrated with the help of some diagram wherein behavior of total product has been depicted with regard to output and labor. Now in this diagram uh, 1A if you notice that there is TP curve. TP curve initially goes on rising very fast. This is increasing returns. Then its rate of rise declines. And then what you find that it is constant at a point and then beyond that point it starts declining. So this is the behavior of total product. And this total product is composed of variable cost and fixed cost. So there is a diagram below that and in that diagram what you notice is that the TFC has started from a certain point above zero and the TVC has started from point zero. So what happens is TP increases at increasing rate with 
one uh, with one unit of labor tp increases and with second unit of labor the tp increases at a decreasing rate and with third unit of labor tp gets constant and declines thereafter whereas in diagram b what we notice is pattern of ap and mp have been shown ap increases till second unit of labor is implied and then increases at a decreasing rate mp is the highest with first unit of labor and goes below ap with second unit of labor and with third unit of labor implied it turns negative so what does it tell us this entire behavior tells us that initially the increasing returns start economies of scale happen and then slowly and gradually the rate of output declines then it becomes constant and then it becomes diminishing the same function that is the economies of scale they start operating so returns to scale and economies of scale are related to each other you cannot uh, say that these two are not related the truth is that economies of scale and returns to scale they are related functions in a way or the other another diagram in that there, there what we see behavior of tc and tvc has been shown tc starts from from f point and tvc starts from zero point why because fixed cost have cannot be zero there has to be some level of fixed cost in every case and that is how this tvc starts from zero and f tfc starts from a point above zero now tc increases at a decreasing rate till oq level of production with second unit of labor is reached beyond this level of output it increases at increased rate total variable cost also follows the same pattern behavior of ac and mc gives the micro picture tvc has the same pattern it goes up then da falls down there again it goes up and if you say the average cost and marginal cost then they give us the micro picture the micro picture means the smaller picture the picture in which a, which a clearer image is available to us with oq2 of output or second unit of labor employment uh, that is the level till where you find that the things are positive and beyond that the things start getting negative ac and mc are low and beyond oq2 they start rising now cost curves are reverse of the product curves product curves are pyramidal shaped and cost curves are u shaped now if you take the long run cost output relationship then what happens here is that both the inputs say labor and capital they become variable technology may remain constant yes but labor and capital they become variable both are variable long term is the continuity or the sum of short runs there are many short runs put together which create a long run it is the continuity of many short runs so naturally therefore long run curves are composed of a series of short run cost curves there are many short run cost curves we may give them a name sac1 sac2 sac3 sac4 so there may be 2 3 4 or more short run curves creating a long run curve and the long run curve will be created by touching the lowest points of all the short run curves in a way it envelops the short run average cost curves so it is also known as an envelope curve here you see the behavior is shown we have a lac which is a which is a flatter kind of a curve you have sac1 sac2 sac3 these are the three curves 
which are short run average cost curves we have found out the lowest points of all the three curves three ssc's and joining those curves is a bigger curve which is less flatter which is rather flatter it is long run average cost curve so in the short run only variable only one factor is variable that is labor but in the long run the other factors also start getting variable and capital also gets variable only technology may remain constant thus total variable cost changes only on account of labor in there is no other factor which is causing change in total variable cost only one factor that is labor which is being varied and because labor is being varied that is causing a change now as the output increases both additional units of uh, additional units of labor are implied more new and new units of labor are implied so then what happens tp ap mp total cost average variable cost average cost marginal cost all these are subject to increasing constant and diminishing returns same thing happens initially you have increasing returns then you have constant returns constant returns the very for a very short period of time then the returns start decreasing so as the output increases all the costs increase initially at a decreasing rate but eventually at increasing rate meaning thereby that the rate of increase also changes and that is what actually matters the rate of increase is increasing or rate of increase is decreasing that is more important the same is the behavior of total product marginal product and average product short run cost of production therefore is subject to the laws of returns of production these are the three laws of production which are considered to be the eternal laws of production like in the initial stages there is there are increasing returns then there are constant returns for a very short period of time but eventually increasing returns start taking place and here all these curves have been shown together that is average cost marginal cost average variable cost and average fixed cost this average fixed cost initially is very high but as the output increases it starts lowering but it cannot become zero so it doesn't just touch the x axis average variable cost again goes very low at least below the average cost and marginal cost this average variable cost actually tells us the shutdown point in the short run beyond below this point sales cannot be continued and sales are stopped whereas the average cost has got the same pattern and marginal cost has got the same behavior wherein it crosses average cost down from down below the average cost at from its lowest point and that becomes the point of equilibrium so for q one of output a particular ratio of capital and labor is used then for q2 level of output additional labor and capital are infused and same happens with q3 level of output so these three short run create a long run ltc or lac passes through the lowest points of stc or sac short run average cost is short run total cost in fact similarly lmc can also be drawn both these curves depict us the equilibrium point and the behavior of cost see here short run curves have also been shown and long run curve has also been has also been shown by joining the lowest points of lacs ssc's one lac has been created similarly smcs there are many smcs and by joining the lowest points of all the smcs what we get is the uh, long run marginal cost lmc and 
behavior is the same that is LMC crosses LAC from down below at its low at its lowest point that is OQ2 level of production at OQ1 level of production what we notice is that the increasing return supply and when we reach at Q2 level of production then what happens is the diminishing returns start taking place. So this is how is the relationship between the long run uh, and short run cost of production. Cost of production is dependent on the variable cost, fixed cost, total fixed cost, total variable cost that makes it total cost and the average cost is divided by uh, is known by dividing the total cost by the number of units but what we notice in this relationship is that increasing returns start initially remain there for some period of time and then there is a level of constant returns and finally the diminishing returns so this is all about the long run and short run costs of production. Thank you.